<laughs> okay. Do you want me to? Zoe McCaverty. <laughs> what is your favorite color? My favorite color, um, I don't think I, I think it changes every day. Like, um, today my favorite color <laughs> is lavender. My name is Hattie. Color. Color. My name is Sophia Worth, and my favorite color is purple. Hi, my name is Colin Covert, and my favorite color is purple. I fell in love for the first time. I started to feel like I was going crazy and it was just kind of, it was just this whole like whirlpool of emotions at all times. I don't know, I really like just like spontaneity, like when people can just randomly be like, hey, like let's hang out, let's do something crazy, yeah, let's go on an adventure or something like that. I like hope that like as a set personality trait, I'm like thoughtful. I think that sometimes I'll say things to people and they always feel like they have to have a response. But sometimes I'll say something that I think sounds really articulate and smart to Jonah and he just like looks at me like, wow, that was a really smart thing to say. And then I, like, I can tell that's how he's looking at me. I, sometimes I get really quiet and I don't know why and that pisses me off. And like I'm just, I get like sad all of a sudden and I'm not happy about that. And there's no reason, so. Take care of yourself and like your mental state is like what comes first. It's kind of cliche, but like when I came out to my mom in January was, I'll never forget the feeling of like when I told her I was sitting on this guy's porch at like 12.45 in the morning and it was 50, like 15 degrees and it was like the first time I felt like I could breathe. My mom said one time that I'm always one foot out the door when it comes to relationships, and I like definitely think that my parents' divorce was um, responsible for that. That it gave me a lot of perspective, that's for sure, about just like you know, like substances first of all, and like just altering your life in that way, but also like the choices people make and how it affects them. And just I met a lot of people because of that. Um, and those people have some interesting stories, and it was just, it was a big eye opener for me, I guess. Like, it's just, I, th I think it made me trust people a lot less. Uh, it was like a month ago, and my friend nearly committed suicide, and that's the hardest thing that's ever happened in my life. And then a week after that, a little boy in my brother's class, who's five, got hit by a car and died. So that whole week, was the worst and I never learned more from any other experience than that, so. Like I felt selfish for thinking like, why me? But a lot of the times I thought, why me? <laughs> like those kind of drugs can definitely change you as a person. And your outlook on the life that you Too. I felt, and there were a lot of empty promises surrounding addiction. There's always a lot of empty promises surrounding addiction. Like, I swear I'll quit this time, and like it doesn't happen. Because for me, like feelings are so, are like a fear of mine. Like I'm afraid of feelings, mm -hmm. and a lot of that stems from Charlie and from him dying because one of like my greatest fears in life is losing people and so I refuse to like let myself kind of emotionally connect on like a very deep level that's not just superficial. I don't know, I feel like this is the time like, when people are like figuring shit out. I'm not sure.